Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser, Skill Tone. How are you, my dear learners? In this video, we are going to talk about how to understand meta analysis calculation very easily using Excel file. And this is for the beginners. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, as you can see here, that there is a fantastic research article called Meta Analysis and Forest Plot using a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet step-by-step -step guide focusing on descriptive data analysis. As you know, in my previous videos in the meta-analysis playlist, I have uploaded so many videos on meta-analysis, how to collect data, how to do different type of methodological analysis. In this video, those who are very novice and starting to understand meta-analysis and trying to apply their simple meta-analysis data to analyze using the Excel file, this video is for them. So, I am going to share this fantastic article link and the associated Excel file for your practice. Okay. So, as you can see in this particular article, there are several steps in analyzing data and producing a forest plot. As you can see here that if I look at the outcome or as you can see the effect size calculation, you can see that the effect size calculation is given over here very nicely. Okay. You can see the effect size calculation using a very standard meta analysis calculation steps, number of events and number of totals, meaning that the number of sample size and how many events that you have in your data. It might be your any sort of patient events or any type of policy events among the sample size this has been given in this particular article very nicely and you can see that how to calculate the standard error this is also given very nicely you can see the standard error is also given very nicely how to calculate the standard error the stepwise calculation also given very nicely in this particular article so, if you follow this article, you can easily understand the calculation of the effect size, calculation of the standard error and also calculating individual study weights and then calculation of weighted effect size. The, all the steps and formula are very simply given in this particular article. And you can see the screenshot of the Excel diagram or Excel file also given in this article for you to understand it clearly. So, I am pretty sure if you follow this particular article, this will be a very nice way to understand and start your meta-analysis journey. Now, here one of the other example which is Excel file associated with this article. As you can see here that the study author 1, author 2, number of 10 articles or e studies, total number of events or samples and you can see the sample size also given here. Now, to calculate the effect size, 2002 is the sample size, so 404 divided by 2002 and you will get the outcome or effect size. And as you can see over here, the outcome or effect size calculation, the formula also given here and also the standard error calculation, the formula also given here. All you have to do, follow the steps and this Excel file to get your idea how to calculate the effect size and standard error. Once you calculate the effect size and standard error, variance will be very easy to calculate and weight also 1 by square standard error. So, you can calculate the weight, individual study weight and then gradually you can find your weighted effect size in this particular I column. So, this is how you can easily calculate your effect size and from there you can calculate the random effect model and confidence interval using the Excel. Very nice, very easy, without taking any help from the complicated softwares. It is Excel application of meta analysis and understanding of the novice or beginner's meta analysis calculation. Here also there is a forest plot calculation and you can see the event, sample size, standard error given, upper limit and lower limit of the confidence interval. And based on that you can easily calculate the forest plot and this is done by the Excel. So, you don't have to buy or use any complicated software like CMA or JEPS or STATA. 
This is a very easy way to understand the Excel file. You can see here that if you follow this article and if you follow this Excel file, your meta analysis, your FX size calculation, standard error calculation will be very easy. Based on that, you can run the random effect model for the heterogeneity of the studies to calculate. And then you can use the forest plot to understand the study FX size very, very easily. So, in this particular video, my intention was to share this particular nice article where the stepwise focusing how to analyze the meta analysis for the novice or the beginners and using Excel file to demonstrate how you can do it using the Excel file by simply applying the formula given in this particular article. I hope this video is useful for you. In the next tutorial, I will try to share the new strategy to write structural equation modeling research article step-by-step -step guideline. So until then, bye-bye.